Okay, well the video was slightly over 10 minutes, so um, it may have cut out uh, while I was still in the middle of talking from the last one. I don't know, when I go to edit, I'll see if it'll let me actually upload that video, because it's like 37 seconds over or something. Um, while I was waiting for the video to save, I came in here and I added some new artwork down here of a ghost. And that is because when I originally did the artwork, I wasn't thinking about the fact that I was going to have to have the ghost you know, in their blue blinking format or whatever. So, paste these in. And you know, the extra space around the sides, it doesn't even mean anything. I can just totally ignore it. So, i get all this white. Save. Select all. And I will paste that in. Oh, wait a minute. Um... Yeah, you know what? I don't think I was supposed to do that. I believe I had switched these at some point, and I just copied over. Yeah, these are supposed to be rotated. Okay, I just copied over the original. Let's rotate these again. Okay. I'll just copy and oh and these were also this was also changed to a different color so that it could be viewed here we go copy this I'm actually going to first copy it into my original so that I don't lose that for the future save and exit that and I'll copy it into my source or project Okay, good. I didn't screw that up. This means now, when my guy is super, I can change how the ghosts are drawn. So I should be able to come down here to where the ghosts are. Dying is equal to zero. Put a block if within a block if. We'll say if super equals zero, then and if. Okay, so now we can say I'm actually gonna tab this one. In fact, I should tab it twice. I'm not gonna bother with that though. Now I'm going to say if super is greater than zero, it's going to draw the ghost in a different way. I need to pull from, instead of, what is this, spot 4, 2? Instead of spot 4, 2, let me figure out where it says that. Where are we at here? Here's the Y coordinate of where we're pulling from. Here we go. Here's the X coordinate. Um, let's see here. This direction, minus one. I'm trying to remember how we have it set up. Direction, minus one. We don't need the plus four. Get rid of the plus four for all of them. Okay, and then here, his Y location is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and then 12. 13 for the mask. I'm just going to say 13. And I don't know why I bothered with that. 12 for these. So all of the ghosts will look identical, but they're going to be this blue person. Let's give it a try. And they're blue, and they run from me. Now, um, in a minute, I don't know when, there we go. They change back to normal, and they come after me again. And i got to say, I think I've made this somehow harder than the original Pac-Man, unless I'm just really bad at Pac-Man, because I haven't played it in so many years. But uh, these things seem a little harder. Okay, well, there's that. Now, 
you know, we can go through, we could make them blink just before time runs out. We can adjust the time just by changing how high that super number starts with. The number super is just how many ticks, how many times the timer will run before it gets back to zero, and that's when, you know, they'll come at me again. We do need to say that when we kill the, or when the ghosts land on us, we don't want to die anymore. Um, where would this be at if they run into me? Oh, here, it's under the you are dead section, or you lose. There's only two places where I've got message boxes. It must be here. Nope. Where did I put it? Here we go. You are dead. Okay. You know what? Uh, normally you can eat the ghosts. Oh wait, well, we're looking for where dying is set to one. Here we go. Dying equals zero. I'm going to say if dying equals zero and super equals zero. Um, normally, this right here means that you can't eat the ghosts. They just can't eat you. Um, if somebody actually wants to take the time, what you would do right here is say, uh, have this section repeated, but if super is greater than zero and you land on a ghost, add to your score, you know, the ghost says you be out eating the ghost, make the ghost disappear, have a character that you'd have to add in here somewhere, of little eyeballs, and then make it run back to the start. You know, that kind of a thing. I'm not going to bother with that. But at least now, if you happen to run into a ghost while you're invincible, you won't die. Uh, this is probably a good time to say that the code for winning could easily load another map. I ever set this thing? Ugh, no, I didn't. I don't know how much time. I'm going to save the video just in case. But uh, you could easily load a different map. Obviously, in our form load, we load a map right here. Um, you could just have multiple files and just pick whichever one is going to load. Um, and then to increase your difficulty, see our interval is 50? Get a load of if we change it to 20. We have a much more difficult game. You could also slow it down. So that's an easy way for you to change the difficulty on your game, the difficulty settings. And you can change that with code. I'm going to put this back to 50 here. Um, see, this would normally be our normal speed. But if I go in here with code, in any place I could just say timer1.interval equals like uh, 100. And I'll see it's very slow. So using code, you could change your difficulty. Using code, you can change what map loads. Um, you don't have to exit the game when you win or lose. It's just how we have it set up. But I think this is where I should wrap it up and save the video before anything goes horribly wrong and I go over 10 minutes.